Today, I will show you how to weather model railroad metal trash bridge in front of you right now. Hello and welcome to your channel HO Trainiverse and Dioramas. I am Ashim and you are watching My Model Railroad. Friends, hope you are all doing well. And today's episode is just the second video of the series of making model railroad bridge assembling, uh, weathering and installing. In my previous episode, I already showed you that how I have assembled Walther's modernized model railroad trash bridge, double track trash bridge. And if you are still not watching that video, just click on the i button and you will get that video. Friends, today I am going to weather this particular bridge. First, I will color this bridge and then I will weather it. And please don't skip a small or single portion of this video because this video is going to be very, very interesting. Okay, friends, let's go towards our workstation. But before that, if you are first time in my channel, please subscribe my channel and push the bell icon on so that when I will upload another new video, you will get the fastest notification. So friends, let's go towards our working table. Let's go. Today I am going to weather this uh, double track trash bridge. Already in my previous episode you saw that how I assembled these two bridges and now first I will color these two bridges and then I will weather it. And for coloring I will go for the traditional silver color. So let's uh, color these things and then I will start weathering. Okay friends, so let's color it fast. Let's go. For coloring, first of all, I will start from the base. So I will uh, color it with the silver color spray paint, spray acrylic. So friends, let's uh, color it. And after half an hour, uh, the color of the lower portion is dried and now I will go for the top sides are already a little bit colored due to the side spray but now I will color the both sides and the top it's not tough job uh, just uh, we should careful that the all parts all the portion and all the corners should be colored thoroughly that's all okay friends I think it's more or less finished and now you can see that after drying the entire bridge sector is looking very nice like uh, some uh, metal bridge the color is very smooth and now i will go for the weathering and for weathering i will use the brown or the rust pigments i have made it by myself and if you want to know that how i made this rust pigments just click on the i button and you will get the link uh, that how i made this uh, rust pigments Okay friends, now what I will do, I will just apply this rust pigments throughout the rivet sectors of the bridge or the garter sector of the trash bridge. Just watch carefully that I am simply applying the pigments throughout the rivet sectors. For weathering you just need a little bit patience and you should have an idea that particular which regions of the bridge you want some rust. So literally it's not very tough, it's, it's just you need some sense, you need some idea to create the rust of the uh, bridge. And now uh, you can see that how I am applying this rust and after application of this rust, I will just use my fingers and just smudge this rust like this, like this, I will uh, smudge this and then I will brush the excess with a soft brush and you can see that the soft and little rust is already here I am not going to create any huge rust on my bridge I need some just some little bit rust and so let me do the entire thing and after rust job you can see that the entire bridge sector is looks little bit pretty little bit cool because I don't want heavy rust I already spoke to you I just want some rust patches throughout the entire bridge it's not a very old bridge so I don't need a huge amount of rust but 
the rust tone is looking very nice throughout the entire garter and all the other areas like decks and etc okay friends now it is time for the next thing now i need some dust and dirt and for dust and dirt i again will use a black pigment and this time i will use it uh, randomly just at the bottom and all the deck portion all the garters and all the other areas that, that means the diagonals and all the extensions i should cover with a little bit black pigment not a very big amount just little bit of this thing will do my job okay friends let's have a look have a good look that how i am uh, creating this dust and dart and after finishing my all rust and dust job now it's time for a small thing friends now i will just use a hair spray to fix my acrylic pigments on the surface of the trash bridge i will just apply a simple coat a simple layer of the hair spray it will fix the pigments at its site and i always like to use this type of fixatives it's not Uh, costly and it is useful so i am using this thing friends it is the final job for the weathering of my rust bridge and this is the final look of my walters cornerstone modernized double track trash bridge weathered and colored it looks very nice and i think it's realistic what do you think please comment me on the comment section and friends in my coming episode i will show you that how i will make the bridge tracks for my trash bridges i need to make it and now just have a look how my bridge is looking like Enjoyed the entire video, friends. If you like this video, please give me a like, comment on the comment section, and also share this video. Very soon, I am coming with another new video, another new tutorial, or something new and exciting. Until then, you can watch my this video, or this video, or this video. Okay, friends. I think enough for today. Very soon, I am coming. Bye, bye.